Hey, 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 time for another out of this world story from our space. Girlfriend cheated on me and my master plan of revenge began. My girlfriend, 22 female, now ex, confessed to me, 24 male, that she had began speaking to someone else over Instagram and that she had felt attracted to him, but that she was feeling guilty and she regretted it. I freaking lost my crap. Why? You must be wondering, after all, nothing happened. Well, I have a miraculous ability to spot people's lies and this crap was the biggest BS ever heard. She was cold since the beginning of the relationship, so feeling guilty for just talking didn't seem like her. Being too attached to her, I tried to let it go and focus on work, but something was off and I could still feel it. The paranoia was eating me from the inside out. During the next weeks, we were mutually distant and she had been surprisingly social going out with different friends, or so she said, even though she barely had any. This gave me enough to work out that she had told me a half-truth and that she was still doing shady stuff. I still don't understand the reason to half confess something to just keep doing it. The relationship was pretty much dead in every aspect and I had suggested the idea of breaking it up because I saw no point anymore, but she insisted on trying and trying because I had located her a good job and she was making big progress thanks to my friends. When I realized this was her reason to go on, something clicked inside of me. I had been there for her through unimaginable familiar crap, professional frustrations, and personal betrayals from her friends. I gave her my all, all the time. I lived to make her happy, but in reality, she had been living on my expense and leaving me in the dark. Being the freaking idiot that I was, I started plotting my arctic cold revenge in silence. I contacted a random girl, Jay, that gave me her number some months before these events, but that I never got to call due to me being faithful. I explained why I never called and she was down for it. The first date we only flirted, but a kiss from her surprised me at the end. It made me feel awkward and guilty. The very next day, I waited for my girlfriend to get in the shower and opened her messages to snoop around. I discovered what I had suspected for various weeks. She had kept the show going and to incredible levels. Going out multiple times a week, sending pictures, and sexting very often and even during time windows in which I was with her. Copying and pasting sex-related messages that she sent to me when we met. Even posing for him with clothes my parents gifted her for Christmas. My guilt flew out the window. Somehow, I managed to control myself from freaking out and exposing her. This mustered all the courage and blind rage I needed. So that night, I called Jay again and went through with it in the most spectacular anger-driven way I could imagine. For the next two months or so, I kept this up. Had sex with Jay as much, as hard, and as often as I could while still being a normal boyfriend. Some days I spent the entire evening screwing Jay, just to see my girlfriend at night and screw her some more while I focused on the hate in my head. After that, I usually left out little hints of mistrust towards her, just to make her feel anxious and guilty. In the end, I broke things off with my girlfriend uncovering her lies, but kept my things to myself, so I could keep my moral superiority over hers. She denied it all, even after I showed her proof. She cried for days about getting back together. This part actually made me feel like it was all for nothing and never really gave me closure. Jay got comfortable around me, but I was far gone into the narrative of this plan. I couldn't even consider going out with anyone at this point, so I had to stop things with her too. In a much less dramatic way, because she was partly aware of what was going on with me and was mostly in this for the sex. Some months passed, and the girl that my ex most hated, because she was very popular among common male friends, happened to come work with me. To my surprise, we hooked up and kind of got close to each other, but not seriously. My ex was still bitter over the breakup when she found out and texted me to confirm it. I avoided answering and instead drove to her house to tell her in person and watch her crumble. Edit. All this crap did nothing but mess with my head. Her cheating gave me anxiety of other people betraying me. But what I did prove, that I too was a piece of crap like no other. Since the realization of this, my treatment for women and relationships has changed greatly. I would never pull some crap like this again. But at the same time, it had to happen for me to change and see the consequences of letting oneself go with rage and hate. It only leads to pain, not healing. Edit 2. For those feeling bad for Jay, I only chose her as my accomplice because she was in a relationship when she gave me her number, hence she was trying to cheat. Basically, I thought I was making justice in more than one name. Nevertheless, I feel bad for her. She didn't deserve being caught in my crap and treated like that. She was the only one smart enough to ghost forever. I welcome your despise with open arms. Our first reaction comes from Kaiser93. I don't think you should be proud of this, dude. Okay, your ex cheated on you. Break up and move on. Instead, you used an innocent girl and then threw her away like a used napkin. And then in your last paragraph, you were just petty. Sorry, but you are just as much of an a-hole as your ex. 
The OP responds, Exactly. I get that it sounds like I am proud, but I am not. I posted this to show what happens when you react like the encouraging comments of this subreddit very often suggest. It never ends well for anybody. This destroyed my psyche way more than being cheated on. Years later, I have seen this with perspective. Many people will think, way to go, man, but your comment is what they need to read. One more comment coming from JNH Daughter. I took the time to go through your responses to comments. Not everyone will. Basically, you posted this as a way to tell people what hurt can do to rationality, which is throw it all out the window. I didn't do my revenge quite like you did, but I did stoop to the revenge level. No, it isn't justified, and yes, it absolutely was the wrong thing. As long as you learn your lesson and never want to repeat it, then no, you aren't a bad person. You just made a bad judgment call. In life, we are going to make mistakes. Cheating is only considered a mistake if you never do it again. If you are the true a-holes who keep doing it, you can't call it a mistake. I'm sorry she broke your heart. Just know she was only a learning relationship. You will find your person when you heal and let her and all she did go. The OP's response, I appreciate your time, friend. Quite some time has passed since this story and I have found some peace. I am now able to be close to my current partner who I love very much and I would never, no matter what, do something like this to her or ever in general. As you said, I wanted to give an example to people so they don't make the same monumental mistake. Moving on. Cheating on me was a huge mistake. So slow at my job. So bored I started thinking about my exes. Thought about this ex and how she told me about her grandmother passing away. Then realized how huge of a mistake it was cheating on me. Before I explain why, this is our history together. We dated for months. Relationship was great. I was able to help her with her depression. She had toxic parents. I wanted to take her out of that home and have her move in with me, but it was going to take a while. But before I did, she cheated on me. I found out she was flirting with two guys, broke up with her, and didn't talk to her for months. We finally see each other, and she begged me for another chance. I knew she was going to cheat again, but gave it another chance, hoping a little it would work out. It didn't. She ignored me for a week. This is important later. Knew she was cheating, so I ended it again. If she didn't cheat on me, I would have had her move out of her parents' home. Could have continued to help her with her depression. This is why it was a mistake. Two years later, she ended up moving into her grandmother's home. Her grandmother needed a caretaker, someone to give her the pills she needs. She failed to do that. She kept forgetting to give her the pills. Her grandmother ended up dying because of this. Feels weird having this thought. If she didn't cheat on me, I would have had her move in with me, instead of moving in with her grandmother. Her cheating on me kind of killed her grandmother. She told me last year about this. We haven't talked in three to four years. Surprised this happened. She feels awful. Blames herself for having her grandmother passing away. Feeling bad for her, I gave her another chance. Her parents were still a little toxic to her and still had some depression. I would have her move in with me, but if she is loyal this time, and helped her with her depression too. Of course, she wasn't loyal. She ignored me for a week. Sound familiar? She hasn't changed. Broke up with her. Months later, she tells me she's more depressed. Her dog died. Her dog had cancer. She didn't have the money to help the dog. Don't know if they put the dog down or the cancer killed it. Might be wrong, but maybe I could have helped her dog. I had the money, so her cheating on me again sort of killed her dog. She tried to get back together with me a few weeks later after this. Why would I do that? <laughs> she hasn't changed. Also, wonder who would die if I get cheated on again. So, nope. Our first reactions from Epic Skies. You ever heard that saying, fool me once? Hope you learned your lesson, bro. That was painful to read. Next thought from Doofy LeBoucheron. I knew she was going to cheat again, but gave it another chance. I knew this guy was going to stab me with the knife he held in his hand, but I decided not to run away. One more chime in from Personal Leather 822 Also wonder who would die if I get cheated on again. <laughs> Perfect reason for ending a relationship. You should have told her this before breaking up with her. Moving on. Wife cheated after 19 years and was caught by my son. Support needed. My wife of 19 years was caught cheating. My son noticed her acting strange with her phone and found her messaging another man. He told her to tell me or he will. This was after my wife and kids had gotten back from a meal and I was in bed. Whilst this was going on, my eldest daughter knew what was going on and came into my room and told me. Yes, I was raging. I got changed, told her some home truths and walked out and my son left with me. Five weeks and we haven't spoken and she says it was just a few messages and she's begging me to come back. I know this is a lie and she won't admit it. 
What do I do? 19 years and four kids is so much to throw away. But I just can't even think about starting again with lies. Krennic responds with a plan. Take your time, all the time you need to process what happened and to understand the situation you are in. Please also get tested for STDs and tell her to do the same. You don't even know half of what actually happened, so better safe than sorry. 19 years and 4 kids. Yes, that makes it harder to think about separation, but not for your wife. The 19 years and 4 kids were on her mind as well when she started her affair and continued it. She knew what might happen if you find out, but all those reasons were not enough for her to not start this affair. The affair was more important to her. The 19 years and 4 kids don't mean as much to her as they do to you. This is a huge imbalance between you and your wife. Your wife ended the marriage in her mind when she began the affair. Maybe she thinks different now, but at the time when she started her affair, she accepted that it might end your marriage. If she changed her mind by now, then she hasn't done that because she wanted to be with you or made a decision that the marriage is more important. She only did that because she got caught. She never wanted to end this affair and is at least continuing it in her heart and mind. Keep in mind, she doesn't regret what she did. She never wanted to end it. She just regrets that she got caught. Tell her that you need time to make a decision about your future. She needs to use that time to get tested for STDs and write a timeline for you about her affair. She needs to write everything down. Who is her affair partner? How did they meet? Who started the affair? What have they talked about? Has she badmouthed you to him? Has she met with him and so on? She needs to back up that timeline with messages from her phone. If she refuses to do that or if she has deleted them, then you better expect the worst and that was much, much more than you already know. Tell her straight that if she leaves anything out or lies about anything and you find out, then you will divorce for sure. This is her one chance to make you think about staying with her and to show you that she is willing to do whatever necessary to take this chance. Please stay away from alcohol and drugs. They won't help you. Go back to your house and tell your wife to move out. She screwed up, so she needs to leave the house until you invite her to come back, not the other way around. One final comment from Lone Wolf 369963. Sorry you're going through this. This cheating has come out in front of the children as well, so you need to make decisions wisely. The fact that children are supporting you and they were the ones who caught her cheating shows that they are smart and the fact your kid asked her to come clean shows that they are mature enough to handle the situation in the best way. However, now you have the biggest responsibility on you to show how to deal with betrayal. If you will rug sweep the affair, then your kids will learn that it's okay to cheat and okay to rug sweep the affair. If that's the message you want your kids to have, then rug sweep the affair. She's not going to confess everything, so you have to assume that they had a full-blown affair, unless she can provide evidence that it wasn't. Even if the affair was not physical, which I don't believe, it was emotional at least. If she provides the evidence, then cross-check it with her call and text records to that number before and after you have left. The best way to end this misery for yourself and your kids is to divorce. They'll never see their mother as the same person as they thought she was, since the kids know about the affair and are supporting you, so there is no point of staying in a marriage that is already over.